that's one kind of frog, here's another. Do you think they're real frogs or pretend? Well, there's one way we could find out, isn't there? If they have real frogs, if we add some water to their pond, what will they do? Jump around. If they're pretend frogs, toy frogs, they'll just stay there, won't they? Well, we'll add some water to the pond and see what happens. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Well, they certainly seem to be real frogs. They jumped. Why don't we look at that again in slow motion and see if you can work out why they jumped. Here they go. Have a look at that. You can see that there's something attached to their feet, can't you? Can you tell what it is? Clothes pegs. Something between the teeth of the clothes pegs. What's that? Little white cubes. You probably guessed it again. They're actually cubes of sugar. And you can set up a little frog pond like that yourself with these few little odds and ends. You'll need some sugar cubes, of course. You'll also need some uh, clothes pegs, either plastic clothes pegs or wooden clothes pegs. They must be the spring kind. And you'll also need some cardboard. Now the first thing you need to do is to make a whole lot of little cardboard frogs. And to do that, you draw a picture of a frog. That's fairly easy to do, isn't it? Just start off with uh, a couple of big bulgy eyes like that. And then a little flat head, shaped something like this. Nice big eyes there. Big smiling mouth. Then a skinny little body, like that. Make it long and skinny, and you'll see why in a moment little front legs with fingers there and then cut out a whole lot of these together. If you put several sheets of cardboard together, when you cut out one, you'll cut out the lot. You'll end up with a whole lot of these little guys. There they are there. Now to set them up ready to jump in the pond, all you need to do is to fold over the bottom of the body like that and then take one of these clothes pegs and lift up one of the springs here with your fingernail like that, you'll find that you can lift it up and then you can poke the folded end of the cardboard frog into that spot there. And if you bend him back a little bit, you'll find that even when you close the clothes peg, he stands up fairly straight. Now, to set it off, the first thing you need to do is to wedge the jaws open with the cube of sugar. Like put the corner of a sugar cube in between the teeth and push it in so that it just holds the teeth open. Don't put it in too far, otherwise it'll take too long for the thing to trigger off. Now that'll hold there as long as it stays away from water. But as soon as you put water in, it's going to dissolve the sugar cube and the jaws will slam shut and the frog will jump. And you may have noticed something about the water I used, did you? It was hot water. The hotter the water, the more rapidly will the sugar dissolve. Okay, let's set up another little pond, this time with our new little frog there facing you, and uh, his little friend over here facing sideways so that you can actually watch the cube of sugar and see it dissolve. There we are, there's the two of them. Now, once again, hot water into the pond, and let's see if we can see the whole thing happening this time, and our toy frogs jumping. Away we go. In goes the hot water, comes up to the sugar cubes, and away goes that one, and there goes number two. All right, simple little trick that you can play with your friends. All you need is some cardboard, sugar cubes and clothes pegs.